Welcome everyone to some more F1 2021 My Team Career Mode where we're into round 14 of 23 already so this is quite a speedy season. If you guys haven't seen the other videos yet make sure you check out the link in the description. There is a link to a playlist of all the F1 2021 My Team videos we've done so far since season 1 episode 1. This is currently episode 109, 110 I believe so we've come a long way. But let's continue the streak. Season 6 is a very good one for us. We're flying high in P1 of the constructors as well as drivers. So let's see if we can clinch it in the near future. Let's see if we can continue our streak starting with the Monza circuit in Italy. Before we continue though, I just want to make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure that red button down below is pressed. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as the next episode goes live. More F1 2021 My Team content is going up on the regular. So please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos. We're also trying to hit 300 subscribers soon, hopefully by early January, before January, hopefully. So please do consider subscribing to show your support for the channel as well as joining this community. Thank you guys so much for your support and let's move on with the Italian Monza Grand Prix. Now not much has happened. One thing I did want to mention before we start this video, start this session, is that I do keep focus on our second driver. So whenever possible I try to improve their stats or improve their focus. So Pierre Gasly's focus is on 87. But his recent string of results doesn't really, you know, reflect that. As you see, Belgium P12, not good. Dutch Grand Prix P7, not good. His only best, he's had only four podium finishes. First, twice, and then third, twice. So uh, I really hope that in the remaining Grand Prix, he can really shine, uh, really push forward. So yeah, we'll see. Maybe starting with Monza, he can have another stunner like he did in real life with Alpha Tauri. So we'll have a lot of hope for him in this one. Also, it is the day after the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, so uh, I will not. I will not comment on it. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in in big trouble in big trouble and i don't want to be in big trouble but uh yeah it's been an insane grand prix and i'm still recovering from it like a bad hangover so without further ado let's see if i can still drive around the monza circuit one of the stronger circuits for us so let's see if we can do well at the italian grand prix in monza All right, welcome to qualifying at the Monza Circuit Italian Grand Prix. Uh, yeah, this track is very fast and very good for us, but there is a bit of a problem. It is called that rain is going to be coming down. Pouring rain will be throughout the whole race, except for maybe the final couple laps. It's expected to be pretty rainy for at least 20-30 minutes of the session, and then we're going to head on into dry conditions, but I don't know how quickly that will come. So it will most likely look like a uh, wet to enters, or maybe even staying on wets throughout the whole session so we'll have to wait and see as we enter the qualifying session right now which is going to be completely dry so we do have to make a little adjustment to our strategy here because uh, Park Fermi rules are on so that means that during qualifying we are going to be running a wet setup. Uh, I may be slow against the AI here so we'll have to wait and see but I did do some practice runs during the uh, free practice session and I used a wet setup for FP2 and it did show that we were quite strong. FP1 there was a bit of rain early doors but I didn't want to use a set of wet compound tires mainly because we're only allocated a certain amount and I don't want to reduce our chances of having uh, the most amount of tires available for the race. So I usually ran all the dry compound tires during those sessions so that we are ready for qualifying and during the race I'll just have to Hail Mary it on the wets. But anyway we did well overall. P4 four on the wet setup against the other drivers only Giovinazzi, Sainz and Perez I believe were faster than me but that's good enough because top four means we will be able to make it all the way to Q3 and maybe even uh, uh, attempt to get the fastest lap to get a pole position start but we'll have to wait and see. Um, Gasly is struggling a little I wonder I really do wonder if the second driver drives the exact same car as me because he's struggling and I think that's because he's on the wet setup just like us. So I wonder if the setup that I decide to put on my car is also put into the second driver's car, which would make complete nonsense. 
Uh, so I don't know. It does feel like it though. I'm gonna say it does feel like it. Anyway, uh, let's get into the session. I think we have a decent setup for the wet conditions. Um, yeah, there's nothing much that I would do to the setup. Uh, we're just gonna have to see if we can get a strong enough lap out there to put us into Q2 and even into Q3. We'll see. This is a brilliant lap, I think. Good banker. Let's see where we sit. P3. Okay. Okay. I think we're through. We're through. 100% we're through, I think. Just as expected in... Um, from the practice programs. Practice session. We're through 100%, I think. Alright, it's P6 for us in the end. Pierre Gasly P8. You see, I think Pierre Gasly is running a uh, wet setup as well because we have it. Sergio Perez, Giovinazzi and Russell in the top three. Knocked out are Aiken, Lungard, Latifi, Mazepin, Joe and Schwartzman. Mazepin isn't in the end of the grid for once, but let's see what happens in Q2. All right, first off of Q2, I think it's a decent enough lap. So this is P2. Hmm. Maybe I'll go one more lap or do I go to the garage and get a new set of softs since we're not going to use the dries as much. Oh, being dragged along by Verstappen has helped us out a lot. Let's see if we're through. Ah, oh, it's not enough. It is not enough. First time we're knocked out in Q2. Sonoda is out. Leclerc, Russell, Verstappen, Eilid, and myself. Where's Perez? Perez is in fourth. Damn it. Our rival is ahead of us. Pierre Gasly is in P8. We're going to be out. P12 starting position. Let's see what we can do from here. It is going to be wet weather, so we're going to be in, uh, we're going to have the advantage. So let's see if we can make the most out of our wet setup on our car. We're back in Italy once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship. And what a great race is in store for us today here at the oldest circuit on the calendar. Monza hosted its first race all the way back in 1922. With the rain coming down here at the 3.6 mile Monza circuit, the low drag setups preferred by most teams could cause them some problems in today's Grand Prix. So watch out for cars struggling for grip around Parabolica, the last and most demanding of this track's 11 corners. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. 
With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position, with Lance Stroll alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Giovinazzi, Sergio Perez and Ocon, Sainz, Raikkonen, Hamilton and Mick Schumacher, Eilert, the Golden Boy, Max Verstappen and Russell, Leclerc, Sonoda, Robert Schwartzman and Nikita Mazepin, Latifi, Lundgaard, Joe and Jack Aitken. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Surely the AI is going to struggle here in the wet conditions. And also, if you have Ben Daly, also known as Tiamat Marduk, as your race engineer, you're bound to be in pole position as Lando Norris just shows what a combination between Quadrant and Tiamat Marduk. Anyway, let's take a look at our strategy here. Okay, it is definitely going to turn into intermediates at some point. So let's try to extend the life of these as long as possible and then go on the inters towards the end because that's what it looks like is going to happen maybe sometime around oh god no not that uh maybe sometime oh no what am i doing reverse strategy there we go uh maybe sometime around lab 18 is it yeah sometime around lab 18 it seems like we're gonna have a uh pit stop but i can't lower the fuel load anymore which sucks anyway Let's just get going. 1.8 fuel in the surplus is just not good. But whatever. Let's start the race. Our car is going to be heavy. Five red lights in a very mon rainy Monza circuit. And away we go for the Monza Grand Prix. I had loss of traction. I lost out two positions. It's chaotic ahead. I can't see anything. Collision with Raikkonen, okay. Vehicle condition. No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. All right, we're in decent shape here. We're up to P8, which is good. Trying to climb the ladder here. Oh, nearly lost the back end there, which was not good, but let's keep going. Oh dear. They're coming for me. I can't see anything. I really can't see anything. Okay, we're good. We're decent. Okay, it's good. Whoa. When I get too close to the car ahead, I can't see anything. Raikkonen is probably seeing nothing either. Oh god. Okay, Paris was going slow. Signs and Alcon had a poor exit out of Parabolica. I can get a move done on Signs, but can I get a move done on Alcon? Trying to hijack as much of his slipstream as possible here. Okay, yes, double overtake on Sainz and Alcon. Gasly's up ahead, 3.6 seconds. Giovinazzi as well. Bloody hell, this is insane weather conditions. Feels like Niki Lauda and James Hunt final and uh, Fuji in Japan. It's torrential rain here. I have no grip. The Lesmos are the worst right now. I have no grip on the Lesmos section. Weather report. These conditions don't look like they're shifting. We're predicting at least 20 minutes of heavy rain. Mm. Full wet seem like the best tire for now. Oh wow, I'm losing a lot of time at Ascari against Gasly. Wow, Lance Stroll gets the fastest lap. Are you serious? Lance Stroll? 
What, what car is he in? I keep forgetting. Isn't he in the Alfa Romeo? Or is he in the Alpine? I get confused. Oh, I set the fastest lap. Let's go. That's good. That's good. That means I'm catching the car ahead. Let's keep it up. All right, track is getting a little faster, I think. Giovinazzi just set the fastest lap. Yes, we got the fastest lap. That was what I was looking for. Verstappen steals it off of us, though. Is this another one? Yes, it is. Fastest lap. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep pushing on Gasly. Three second gap to Gasly now. Weather report. Heavy rain will be staying with us for a while now. At least a 20 minute window of heavy rain. It's hard to say if inters or wets are better right now. Oh, that is interesting news. We are encroaching on intermediate territory. So we're going to see a large influx of cars into the pit lane. So surely for Sulit Racing, if pa uh, Pierre Gasly stays ahead of us, he's going to get the favorable pit stop. So we want to try and overtake him soon. I definitely think we need to stay on this tire a bit longer. But there's no question that the track is drying. We might be in a position to change soon. Yeah, definitely. I'm getting more grips on the wets, but that also means that inters could come into play then. It means the track is drying. Perez is out. Yes! Our rival is out. I mean, it is sad that he's out, but... Our rival's out means our rival just got a lot easier. I mean, he was in last place, so no position gained. Which is a shame. Like it's going to be getting much lighter over the next okay. 10 to 15 minutes. There should be more grip, but don't expect the dry track. We're in a very interesting situation for both strategy as well as positions. Will Gasly pit? Will any of them pit for new wets? Not quite sure. Oh, there's Paris. Anyway, will everyone pit? Will Gasly make a move on some of the cars ahead? Giovinazzi and Norris. I think Stroll is reading, leading the Grand Prix. Which is quite insane. That's what wet weather does. It just puts a spanner in the works. So the usual suspects end up being unusual suspects going on the front of the pact. But anyway, we are closing in on Gasly, which is a good sign. Okay, Gasly pits. Why? Are you going on inters? Is he on enters? We won't know. Teammate status? We're leading our teammate by 22.8 seconds. They're on fresh enters. They're in 17. Okay, so Pierre Gasly has taken the risk. I have a DRS failure by the looks of it. Um, anyway, Pierre Gasly has taken the risk. He's on the intermediates right now. Is it time for the enters? I don't know. Some others are pulling the trigger, I think. Tire status? Alright, consensus in the garage is that it's probably about time for the slick tire now. It will be slippery, but it will probably be quicker. Sorry? Slicks? Slicks? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, it's time for enters, I think. Box this lap. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. We're gonna follow in. We're gonna follow Giovinazzi. Try and maintain grid position. We don't have DRS, which isn't too big of a deal. 
mainly because uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we don't have DRS right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got held up by Giovinazzi. 1.9 though. That was splendid from the team. Okay. We got the overcut on Gasly. Look at that. Oh, Norris and Giovinazzi going head to head here. We've caught up a lot against these guys. We timed our pit stop to perfection, man. What a pit stop. That was good. That was very good. Alright, let's see. Is this the fastest lap? No, it's not. My goodness. 125.4. I had two tenths faster than me. Weather report. Inters seem like the fastest tire for now. Well, that's useless information. I need to know. The car ahead is 1.5 seconds. I know. I need to know whether the weather's going to lighten up or if it's going to stay like this because I need some kind of advantage here against Giovinazzi and Norris. Launch roll with a 125 2. 125 2 0. Oh, 125 0 from Giovinazzi. So we are decent. We're setting some decent lap times, but not the level of Giovinazzi ahead. I mean, he does have slipstream of Norris. Alright, the track is definitely evolving. Um, I have more grip, meaning we are almost down to slick conditions. Launch troll with a 125.0. I can't get there, man. Come on. Come on. I can do this. Yes. There we go. Whoa. Max concentration. And there we go. We get the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. That's what I needed. Oh, another fastest lap. Didn't expect that. We are faster than the cars ahead, but I do need to do better with my ERS management throughout the lap. Alright, another fastest lap. 124.4. Come on, can we get closer to Giovinazzi? Come on, come on, come on, come on. How did I do that? Nice move. Good job. Oh. I somehow managed it. Okay, we got Norris ahead. Oh boy, this is an insane race. Stroll is in the lead, man. How? Weather report. ETA on this rain clearing up is about 10 minutes, so just keep your concentration out there. Inters look like the best tire for now. Yeah, okay, we might end on the Inters. Gotta try and reach Norris quickly. Otherwise, it's a P3 finish for us. Gasly's not doing well. He just lost out to Verstappen. Well, this is an anticlimactic end to the Grand Prix. Lando Norris is literally one second ahead of me. Fastest lap though. Thanks. Didn't expect so that. But yeah, we are not gonna make any more moves because the AI is going to dump their ERS and get ultimate grip. Alright, that's it. 
two seconds and 1.1, 1.0 to Giovinazzi. P3, that is the best I can do. I could have gone higher, I think, if I had been more aggressive against Norris and Giovinazzi early doors, but it is what it is. P3 is decent, starting from P, what, thir 12, 13? I'll take it. Yes, 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 we're on the podium. Good job this weekend, great drive, thank you. Here we are then, a thoroughly deserved win in Italy after another excellent Grand Prix. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. As today's winners make their way up the podium steps, the folks at Alpine have shown once again what it takes to build a successful Formula One team. A well-deserved win for them. Good job to Alpine and Lance Stroll. I think Lance Stroll should be getting driver of the day given his performances. Zero mistakes from start to finish. Well done to him to get P1. But sadly, we couldn't get P2, but I'll take P3. Now, let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I have to give it to the golden boy. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximized their potential. Wow, the rain really put a spanner in the works today. Lance Stroll, Norris, and myself on the podium. We get an additional point for fastest lap, which is good as well. Antonio Giovinazzi, Verstappen, Gasly, Ocon, Sainz, Raikkonen and Lungard round out the top 10. Williams getting some points today. Very nice. You see the w rain is really causing some, you know, shuffling happening here and there. Alpine had a spectacular weekend. Schumacher, Hamilton, Leclerc, Sonoda, Russell, Latifi, Eilid, Aiken, Schwartzman, Joe and Mazepin round out the finishers with Perez having an engine failure and getting knocked out standings wise let's take a look 297 points to our name and we have 149 point gap to Giovinazzi in p2 he has 148 points 146 points for max verstappen gasly is slowly making his way up not quite sure if he can overtake verstappen and gasly uh Giovinazzi, sorry but we'll see how well he fares in the drivers constructors wise we have 413 points to the team name 207 points for red bull who are 206 points away so i think we are in good position to win it we have a solid lead so as long as we stay in the points we're gonna have the constructor standings in our hands this season well that was one spectacular weekend a weekend full of surprises so we were unable to make it through to q3 after putting on a wet setup against the dry setups of other cars and we gambled on it it was a big gamble to take for strategy purposes but i think it paid off uh starting p12 and then got p3 our podium streak continues in season six did well early doors to stay competitive did go off the circuit but i was forced off by the uh, mclaren of raikkonen and i think we did well to keep our car intact for most of the grand prix a lot of bumps here and there a lot of overtaking opportunities missed but we did well to stay in p3 the intermediate stint also came just at the right time and i think we gambled well to stay out a little longer on the wets before putting on the enters and it, i think that's why we got p3 i wonder if so it wasn't really time for the interns when I hit, like it was just about on the cusp. So I wonder if I could have gotten a little bit more of a boost if I stayed on the wets for one more lap. We'll never know since we didn't pull off that strategy. But yeah, overall, I think I'm quite proud of the strategy we pulled off today. Yeah, that was it for the Monza circuit. We're going to Sochi next, I believe. So that is going to be another interesting one. Wet weather races always cause a bit of a problem. A couple headaches here and there up the pit lane. So that really showed today. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Subscribe to the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as the next episode goes live. More F1 2021. My team content is going up on my channel. So please be sure to be subscribed so that you are notified as soon as the next episode goes up. We're trying to hit 300 subscribers as well. So please do help the channel out. Help the channel grow by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for your support. Stay safe, stay healthy, and until the next Grand Prix, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in Russia. Yeah.